Hello friends and welcome back to the dork side. I'm the dork in the road and today we're doing a few more upgrades, a few mods to my 2022 Kawasaki KLR650. Alright friends, I'm the dork in the road and I want to be your internet writing buddy, so please consider subscribing. If you saw the previous KLR Mods video, which I'll link for you, you know I've done a few things to it. Hand guards, foot pegs, uh, heated grips, and the like. But there's a few more things I want to do to it and one of the big pieces just arrived and so I want to put that on. As well as a couple other things that I think you'll be interested in, especially if you're a KLR owner. So today, we're going to add some risers to the windscreen to get it sort of more vertical and higher up to try to get the wind up over my head. We are going to add an Atlas throttle lock. So I will have a throttle lock here on the KLR for those long highway journeys. And most importantly, the center stand is here. The Happy Trails adjustable center stand arrived like yesterday. We're going to put that on. It's a, that's an accessory I've been waiting for for a while. So let me show you what we got. These are the 3D Cycle Parts windshield risers. Pretty excited for that. Looks like a pretty straightforward install. So we're going to put those on and get that windscreen up because I really hate even in the high position where the wind hits me on the KLR. This is the Atlas throttle lock. This is a top kit because we have heated grips and that's the one that we need. So put this on so we can just click and cruise all day on the highway. Pretty excited about that. The piece de resistance. This is the Happy Trails adjustable center stand. So you see, see the bolts here. You can adjust it if it's not quite the right height. But these just came out. We got the first production order of these. And it looks like a pretty straightforward install. It just, it has these bolt holes here. And you just put those on on your foot peg mounts. It should be good to go. So I think I'm gonna start with this because it's the biggest project. And uh, we'll start from the bottom and work our way up. Also, before I jump in, big shout out and thank you to 3D Cycle Parts, to Atlas Throttle Lock, and to Happy Trails, that all of whom sent me these pieces to put on the KLR to show all of you. So I'll link all those in the description. Great companies, cool people that have been really great to work with. So if you're looking for any of these parts, these are the brands I recommend. So you've heard me complain before about how far the KLR leans over, which actually makes it really hard to work on. On this side, on the left side. So whenever I'm working on the left side of the bike, I like to just take a 2 by 4 put onto the kickstand. Makes it a lot easier to get to stuff. A lot more level and it's not too bad since it leans over so far normally. Well, this install is supposedly very straightforward. Just take off the foot peg mounts. So I'm just gonna pop those off on both sides. This is a 12. Well, that came out a lot easier than I was expecting. Not sure how I feel about that. This cannot be this easy, there's no way. It's gonna get complicated in here somewhere. So these you don't even keep. Oh, so the rubber mounting is here on the bottom. Okay, I'm cool with that. Leave it there. You just pop that off. The light isn't great on this side. You're just gonna have to trust me. This came off surprisingly easy. They're not very tight. I remember that from when I put them back on. These aren't even Loctite, I don't think. They seem to be. I'm gonna put some on because this is the kind of that could vibrate loose. Supposedly, this just pops in like right here like that. This would be much easier with a second hand, but the kid is sleeping in today, so I'm gonna try it on my own, see how it works. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop all these bolts in to hold it. And I'll put the other end with some thread locker and then pull the first one back out to put some thread locker on it. These are the longer bolts they give you. So they come in the kit, but the, uh, the center stand comes completely assembled. So I didn't have to put this together or anything. It's just these four bolts to add it. Okay, that one's in. Okay, I'm just gonna use a little thread locker because it's a KLR and they vibrate like crazy. So it's just smart business. Put a little dab on there. This is an interesting design. I like it. And it's adjustable, so if the height isn't right, I don't have to take the whole thing off to change the height, which is good. Just a little dab will do ya. So we can get it through. Okay, other side. I think I'll just do the same thing and start the one. Just hold it up, put this one in with a little thread locker. So your foot pegs are a little bit farther out, which I honestly don't hate. I do like where it mounts, but it doesn't interfere with my factory crash bars or anything. So once it's hand tight, you're supposed to lift up on this as high as you can. That's not too bad. And, uh, and then tighten it down with it in the highest possible position. So let's do that. So I'm lifting up on it. It's very high right now. I'll tighten it. Do it on both sides before we come back and give it a final snug. Seriously, happy trails. Bravo, this has been far too easy so far. It doesn't make sense that it would be this easy. 
I think it's on there. I'm gonna give these another Titan. I'm not gonna go crazy, because like I said, they weren't too tight when I pulled them off. And somehow, that's it. That's like a 10 minute install. Let's give it a try. Okay, honest to goodness. First attempt. Okay, no, kick stand down. Center stand down. Look at that. Okay, I'm excited. Rear wheels off the ground. That's looking good, bro. Well done, Happy Trails. That's awesome. Super impressed with that. What a great setup. That seems like a really great product. That was a very easy install. You guys know I suck at installing things. I was nervous about it. I just did it in about 12 minutes. So well done, Happy Trails Moto. Thank you for sending me that center stand. Looking forward to testing it more extensively. I assumed that the center stand would be the hardest thing I was doing today, but that was so easy. Maybe everything else is gonna be super easy. I don't know. But next up is, like I said, these 3D cycle parts. These are windscreen risers. So I gotta take the stock screen off so I can put these on and it's gonna lift it up and give me a little bit more of an angle like this to protect me from the wind a little better. And these are 3D printed plastic. Uh, supposedly very sturdy, they have a lifetime warranty, so I'm not really worried about that. And uh, I'll link, obviously, 3D Cycle Parts website and these specifically in the description for you. But got to take this stock screen off to do this, so let's do that first. Set this aside for now. My shorter Allen key is making it work, so all good. I'm going to do one side at a time so I don't get these confused. Hopefully labeled, that one says clutch side. That sticker faces out. So the bottom screws, not the ones, the shorter ones, not the ones that have this lip. You actually screw through from the outside. Right, that one's in. Cool. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Yeah, at least I saw where it landed. It gets brutal when you don't. We're screwing through the bracket on the bike into the riser. See? Because the threads are on the riser. And it looks like it's replacing all my stock hardware. So this is the windshield bracket, and I'm just using the screws that came with the riser on the other side like this. It's pretty solid on there, especially when you have that cross bracing of the windscreen. See what we're working with? It raises it up quite a bit here. And the riser, just like before, goes on the inside. Talked to the owner directly on Facebook. That's how we set this up. He seems like a cool guy, and he's really active in the KLR group, so he wants to be part of the community. So I appreciate that a ton. Tight, bro, tight. All right, let's put the windscreen back on. Yeah, I see that angle. It's quite different. That is a marked difference. Very different visually. But this is definitely going to get that air up over my head a lot better. It's really hard to film with the wind noise just hitting me right in the middle of my forehead. So this is going to make a big difference. And if I don't like it here, like I said, I can just move it down to this position. But that's going to push the air up. My guess is I'll get more from the sides, but not as much from the top. That's the windscreen. Brackets, the risers are on, so nothing left to do but the throttle lock. Let's do that. This is a game changer for long rides. I've heard nothing but great reviews of, of these things, and I actually got to hang out with Dave, the owner, uh, at the AIM show a little bit. So I'll actually link my AIM show video for you. And we did a video for the Giant Loop channel, which I will link for you if it's up. And when it is, you'll see it here. But uh, so sh big shout out to Dave for sending me this. Uh, he and his wife Heidi run the company, and they're awesome people. Met him at Touratech. Cool to see him again at AIM. So let's put this bad boy on. We just take this apart like that. Comes apart, take this part off for now. Just gonna wipe this off with an alcohol pad and put the uh, friction pad on. A little dab will do ya. I'm gonna let that dry. I'll put this medium friction pad on. There's only really room for one. Right there-ish. We got the throttle lock here. You just slide this end in, slide it in here like this, like that. And then there's just a clamp on the back side ratcheting teeth, so we're just going to put it around the throttle. One or two clicks here. Then put this bolt in. One, two, three times. Pull this all the way out and then clamp this like that. Okay, that's as tight as it gets. So now tighten this down. It's on there. Let me show you how it works. So I'm riding along, riding along, riding along. Oh, I want to hold this RPM. Click that. Holds the throttle still. If I would like to decelerate or stop having cruise control, you just hit this button, it releases. Or, if it's locked down, you can just push it forward. So, it just gently holds it. I know I used to be super paranoid about something physically holding my throttle open, but it is as simple as just pushing it forward if you want it to stop. So, this is a neat item. Pretty big fan of it. 
I'm excited to give it a try out on the highway. Thanks again, Dave, for sending that to me. Overall, I'd say that's a pretty productive day of upgrades. Got the throttle lock installed, windscreen upgrade, and the center stand. All went smoothly, which is pretty rare if you know when I put things on. So I just want to give another thank you to Happy Trails for the center stand, Atlas for the throttle lock, 3D Cycle Parts for the risers here. Like I said, I'll link all that stuff in the description for you. If you want to get any of these things for your KLR, and if you have any questions about the parts or whatever, uh, just leave them in the comments. We can talk about it. Pretty happy with the install. Everything was pretty smooth and easy. All the instructions made sense, so all good stuff. So thank you for watching, and until next time, please do not forget to be excellent to each other. Oh, thank you. Excellent!